nice boot sound, hold down the Alt key, insert the disk, and then with luck, boot up in the installer. I've never tested it, I haven't done anything. So let's just wait for this to load. Okay, video's up, really cool. No flicker, even better. Insert the disk. All right, so now we just have to wait for it to load. We should be loading the installer. There it is, nice old Mac OS X logo, the gray apple, progress bars, spinning beach ball of death, preparing installation. All right, so we got these blank buttons. But I'm pretty sure it's loading something, so there we go. Yeah. All right, well, before we actually install, I'm going to reformat the hard drive. So, gee, I don't even know if... There it is, open disk utility. That was a lucky guess, because there's no utilities menu like there is now, so I just took a wild stab at it and got it right. Nice old pinstripe menu bar. Yeah. Gotta love that. Oh, wow, look at this old disk utility. Whoa, I don't know if I even know how to use this thing. I might have to reformat it using another more familiar version. But maybe once it loads, there should be just a nice simple button to press to wipe out the entire disk. Oh, wait, this might be it. Partition. Oh, well. Okay, let me do some. Ah, gosh. Beach ball. Again. I was clicking on buttons, nothing was happening. Beach ball. Alright, so I'm going to let that spin some more. Eh? Ah, it's not done yet. <laughs> Still not done yet. That's right, it's still getting the spinning beach ball. It's still at the drive setup. Just spinning. I am repartitioning the volume as one partition, calling it Macintosh HD, um, Mac OS Extended, and it is 6.38 gigabytes, and I am clicking partition. So I am now initializing the disk. Warning, saving the new partitions will erase all existing partitions. This cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to continue? Well... Yeah, I am sure. But I do like that aqua button. I like the old first generation aqua look. It's, I think the first generation aqua look looks better than the current one. The pinstripe is okay. I mean, I could go without the pinstripe, but I like the original blue aqua buttons. They're just brighter than they are in the current Mac operating system. But, all right, we're going to click partition. And here we go. Progress. Progress. We're making progress. All right, formatting partitions. Recognizing new partitions. Done! Okay, so... Um, we're done with that, then. We can close Disk Utility. And we'll use English as the main language, because I can't read any of the other ones. Reading Essential System Software, BSD, Configuration Package. Welcome to the Mac OS X Installation Program. Important information. Okay, nice. Software License Agreement. Wonderful. Agree. Checking disk. To use classic Mac OS 9 applications, you're gonna... You'll need to upgrade to Mac OS 9 to use your... You can do after you install... Okay, yeah, I have a Mac, I have a Mac OS 9.2 disk, so we're all good. All right, nice disk. Oh, phew. Oh, my goodness. There's an erase destination and format option right in the installer. I, all that stuff I just did in disk utility waiting 10 minutes for the beach ball to go away, I didn't have to do. I could have just checked this little box. All right, well, that really doesn't matter. I have it reformatted. I just wasted about 10 minutes of my life, but all right, one gigabyte of space, Macintosh hard drive, continue. And let's just check the customization option. Okay, that's about everything. Base system we need, obviously. BSD subsystem would be nice. The essential system software is definitely needed. Uh, print drivers, no, I don't really need that. So we will continue. I'm not hooking any printers up to this thing. If I do later, you know, I can always just pop in the disk in and go to optional installs. All right, preparing base system, examining package contents. That's what we want to see. And I think, you know, I don't know if you could do this in the old operating system. Oh, sh yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Show log. This is always fun. You can see all the code and crap. Yeah. All right, disk is going. Disk is working like crazy to get this, and um, I've not seen an option for additional languages. 
I believe that was on newer versions of Mac OS. Tim Regan installed in multiple languages. I'm not exactly sure, but those take a long time, so hopefully it's not on here. Okay, so right now we've got this nice log that basically does like a disk utility like thing up there, checking volumes, catalog file, hierarchy, stuff like that. Okay, we got a nice error, negative 928, 982, sorry. Don't know what that means, but we'll just continue. Okay, well, we're making lots of progress. The progress bar is still completely empty. All right, so I'm just going to let it do its thing. It's I know it's doing something because it's making tons of noise, and the log is showing plenty of information. So that's wonderful. So I think it's time to pop the question again. What the heck do you do when you're installing an operating system, especially a new one? It's on the computer you use all the time. You're on it every single minute of your life, you install an operating system, and you're without that computer for about 30 to 60 minutes, depending on what operating system you're installing. If you're installing Windows XP, it's going to be about 50 minutes you're going to have to wait, at least in my experience. It takes about 20 minutes to load in like the DOS interface, and then it takes about 30 minutes for the setup. Actually, it takes about 40 minutes, so it's about an hour. But if I do something like Snow Leopard, it takes only a half hour. So what the heck do you do while you're waiting? But it looks like we might not have to wait long because this progress bar is really chugging along there. It's a nicer interface than Windows XP's installer, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> well, the installer is now installing Essential System Software, or ESS, as I like to call it. And it says about 8 minutes remaining, so it's going pretty fast. That's good. Faster than I thought it was. I mean, after considering that it took 10 minutes to load a menu in Disk Utility, I thought it might have taken an eternity to install. But it's been going for a while, and it's already at 8 minutes, and it's installing ESS files. ESS. Essential System Software. Gotta have that. I mean, without that, the system is basically useless. What do you have? You don't have much of anything. About Installer. Let's see what version this is. Because on my Snow Upper disk, it says it's version, like... 230 or something. I'm not exaggerating. I don't know why I did that. Version 1.0. That makes sense. It's Mac OS 10.0. Alright, we're at five minutes now writing essential system software. It's wonderful. So much faster than I thought it was going to be. So I guess Mac OS 10 is a fast installer. Just disk utility is slow as all get out. But this is my theory why. Uh, that disk utility app looked a little carbonized. It looked like the old Mac OS 9 disk first aid. So I think that was carbonized. This installer, I believe, is written in Cocoa. And, um, yes, I did establish that this is a Cocoa installer. I didn't test the Disk Utility app because there weren't multiple windows open at once. But, um, the way you can tell if something's carbonized or not is if you have a window in the front and you drag a window in the back while you hold down the command key, it pops out in front, and that shows that it's carbon. But I wasn't holding down the command key. If you hold down the command key and drag something, it'll move in the background without becoming the activated window. That shows that it is a Cocoa application. And it is completed. The computer will restart in 30 seconds. 25 seconds. And I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to click the restart button. Okay. We're rebooting. Rebooting. Let's go. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. The intro video. Much faster. And there's the dock. Look at those old icons. All right, let's see what we have on the desktop of Mac OS 9 here. Yeah, it couldn't be found. I didn't think so. So let's delete this. Cool. Go Pro. No, thank you. QuickTime Player 5. Yeah, here's QuickTime TV. Hey, Tech TV, look at that. Oh, that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> this is the old control panel, or system preferences, as they call it in Mac OS X. And it is not organized by category, but they did have the ability to drag things to the top so you can access them quickly from here like this. That was pretty cool. That's one of the features they killed off later, and I think in Panther they might have killed that off. Ah. Okay. That's basically what it does in the menu bar now. You basically have a um, menu item that does the resolution changing and stuff. And I got a nice error here. Wow, that's the old little problem reporter icon. 
That's what they call it in so the core services folder, problem reporter. Yeah. The application Internet Explorer has quit, has quit, excuse me, has unexpectedly quit. The system and other applications have not been affected. And we're shutting down. That was a nice transition right there. I like that. All right, well, that's about it. See you next time.